A federal judge has denied Marilyn Manson's motion to dismiss a sexual assault lawsuit filed by Esme Bianco, allowing the case to proceed. Judge Fernando L. I. N. Yaroka denied the singer, whose real name is Brian Warner, in his request to dismiss claims made by the Game of Thrones actress, according to court documents filed Thursday. Manson's lawyer submitted the motion to dismiss in July stating that Bianco's allegations of sexual assault were time-barred by more than seven years under California's statute of limitations. In the new court order, the judge wrote that Manson's acts have affected Bianco beyond the time they last had contact. For that reason, the allegations could fall within a reasonable time. Marilyn Manson moves to dismiss his May Bianco's sexual assault and battery lawsuit. My hope is that this ruling empowers other survivors to pursue justice for themselves while signaling to abusers that they cannot bully victims into silence, Bianco said in a press release following the ruling. In the motion to dismiss, Manson's lawyer stated that the claims Bianco made were untrue, meritless, and a key component of a coordinated attack. USA Today reached out to Manson's lawyers for additional comment. Bianco sued Manson in April and detailed allegations of rape and verbal and physical abuse dating back to 2007. Bianco's initial complaint revealed that the actress has suffered due to the deterioration of her mental health caused by Mr. Warner and that she deals with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, and panic attacks to this day as a result. Marilyn Manson denies Game of Thrones star Esme Bianco's allegations of sexual assault. The judge has ordered that Manson will have two weeks to answer for Bianco's allegations. The 39-year-old actress first spoke out against Manson in February, joining others who have alleged abuse. Westworld actress Evan Rachel Wood claimed Manson horrifically abused her for years. Manson's former assistant Ashley Walters alleged Manson used his position of power, celebrity and connections to exploit and victimize her, during her employment from August 2010 to October 2011.